Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Voxler 3. Voxler is Golden Software's 3D data visualization program. Voxler can create many 3D map types such as ISO surfaces, height fields, wall renders, contour maps, and well renders. In this demonstration, I will use the clip plane and transform modules to manipulate data. Clip planes and transformations are useful when working with two or more data sets that might not have the same data limits or scaling. Click File Open. Select Inversion Isosurface.voxb and click Open. The clip plane module clips input geometry according to a user defined clipping plane. All geometry on one side of the plane is clipped. The site that is clipped and the location of the clipping can be altered in the property manager. The clip plane can be oriented at any angle and you can have multiple graphics modules connected to a single clip plane module. Click the ISO surface at 1.2 module to select it. Click Network Graphics Output Clip Plane. Immediately we can see half of the data from this ISO surface is no longer displayed. Click the clip plane module to update the properties in the property manager. The input geometry section displays which graphics modules are connected to the clip plane module. Click the output connector pad on the ISO surface at 1.6 module and click the input connector pad of the clip plane module. A menu will appear. Click the connect input geometry B not connected option. Repeat this process with the ISO surface at 2.0 and target ISO value modules. Now all ISO value modules are clipped. Click the clip plane module and notice that the rest of the ISO services have been added to the input geometry list. The orientation selects which axis you want the clip plane to be associated with. The clipping plane is perpendicular to the axis that is selected. You have four options, the X, Y, and Z axis, or custom. Custom allows the clipping to occur along a user-defined plane. Select Custom and change the X, Y, and Z under Normal Direction to 1. We will see the clipping plane update in the viewer window. The distance from center is the distance of the clip plane from the center of the input geometry. To adjust the distance, slide the slider or enter a number directly and press Enter. The Swap Clip Direction checkbox will change the clip direction to be opposite from the current settings. The Show Dragger option displays the clip plane dragger. Click and drag the lines to change the orientation of the clip plane or drag the center bar to change the distance from center. The Transform module transforms the X, Y, and Z coordinates of an input data set or lattice using a standard 4x4 transformation matrix. It creates lattice, point data, or well data depending on the input type. It may be connected to graphics output modules or computational modules. Right click the filter module, go to computational and select transform. Click the output connector pad on the transform module, select connect output data and click the input connector pad of the target ISO value module. Uncheck the other ISO services and the clip plane module to turn their displays off. Click the transform module to update the properties in the property manager. The input section tells you which module the transform is connected to. The origin section determines the location that the transform is centered around. There are four choices of center, lower left, upper right, and custom. Selecting custom will allow the user to set the location of the origin to anywhere the user wants. I will leave it set to center. The show dragger option displays the transformation dragger. Click and drag the lines to move the data, click the white squares to expand or collapse your data, or click the green spheres to rotate the data. Uncheck the Show Dragger option. Click the Transform tab to see the transform options. As you can see, the scale, rotation, and translation have all been changed. This is caused by using the dragger. Click the Reset buttons to set the values to the defaults. The scale will multiply the scale of your data in whichever direction you specify. If I put a 2 in the X parameter and press Enter, the scale of the data in the X direction is twice the size it originally was. Notice the bounding box and axes did not change with the data. This is because the bounding box and axes are not attached to the transform module. Click the output connector pad on the transform module. 
select Connect Output Data and click the Input Connector Pad of the Bounding Box module. Then repeat the process for the Axes module. Now the Bounding Box and Axes will change with the data. Click the Reset button under the Scale heading to return the data to normal. The Rotation section allows you to rotate the data around an axis or a set of axes. Currently, the data will rotate around the z-axis. If I change the y to 1 and the z to 0, the data will rotate around the y-axis. You can adjust the angle by dragging the slider or typing the number in directly and pressing Enter. Click the Reset button under the Rotation heading to return the data to normal. The translation moves the input coordinates the specified amount in the X, Y, or Z directions. Enter 500 for X and press Enter. The data will move 500 units in the X direction. Enter 500 for Y and 500 for Z to see the data move along these axes. This concludes the video training for using the Clip Plane and Transform modules in Voxler 3. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.